If you've been on Twitter within the last 12 hours, you've already heard the massive news. Leafy is here, is banned from YouTube. If Jesus Christ resurrected today, that would only be a side story, second place behind Leafy is here's termination. The response to the news has been split. There's a lot of people celebrating it as if their favorite football team just won the Super Bowl, and then there's people absolutely in fucking ruins, burning down their local high schools, refusing to eat, hunger strikes. I'm sure someone's gonna set themselves on fire like that monk a long time ago in protest. Shit has been absolutely wild. So let's peel apart these ass cheeks here and really dive in. So. In a nutshell, he was banned for bullying and targeted harassment. I think that's what they, they got him with. I think that's what they slapped him around with. I'm not entirely sure, but from everything I've read, that's what the charges against him were in the court of YouTube. So first of all, I don't think any content creators should be celebrating Leafy's channel termination. Even if you absolutely hate Leafy, hate everything about him, have wet dreams where he's being sent away to jail for life in an isolation chamber, you still shouldn't be happy that he got banned this way because to my understanding he had zero strikes on his account before it was completely just fucking eradicated from existence. And if it can happen to a 5 million subscriber channel, it can happen to any channel. It happened overnight, like the fucking Tooth Fairy came in out of nowhere and just snatched his soul, his YouTube soul away, and had no priors. That should be scary to anyone that makes content on the internet, I would say. But I do disagree that this sets a precedent. I would argue this precedent got set a year ago with Go Kanaru's video on H3H3 getting taken down for the same reason Leafy just lost his channel, targeted harassment, bullying, threats. And then it happened again with Ian's content cop on Leafy, targeted harassment, bullying, threats, taken down. None of, neither of those got reinstated. Those stayed down. I would say that's when the president was set. YouTube showed that it's kind of Weenie Hut Jr. when it comes to anything it views as a potential targeted harassment campaign or threat against the creator. Now, to be fair, I understand this is a bit of a special case with Leafy in particular because he made 12 fucking videos milking Pokimane. I don't mean like actually like grabbing on her nipples and like milking her lactating. I mean, he milked this fucking controversy that he started on Pokimane. He had 12 videos insulting Pokimane in the title, laughing at her in the title, using degrading thumbnails to insult her. And I understand the content of all 12 of those videos wasn't solely focused on Pokimane. They were mainly like financial rants and shit like that. But still having 12 videos all insulting Pokimane in the title and thumbnail, that's viewed as harassment by YouTube. And to be fair, that's literally textbook harassment. Of his last 15 videos, 12 of them were on Pokimane. Only three videos that I can remember, I can't double check, but I think I remember it was only three videos in two months weren't talking shit on Pokimane in the title and thumbnail. So I think it's pretty obvious why YouTube viewed that as a harassment campaign. But what's surprising to me and probably everyone else is the fact that they didn't issue just one strike for this whole ordeal, the whole Pokimane thing. They issued individual strikes for each offense. And even if they only used half of his Pokimane videos, that's still six strikes all at once. If they used a third, that's four strikes. If they used a fourth, that's three strikes. All of them terminate his account. And that's pretty fucking wild. He went so far above and beyond the norm when it comes to milking internet drama that he made it impossible for himself to survive this new harassment policy they implemented. Now, do I think he's going to get his YouTube account back? I really have no idea. It's impossible to know for sure. But one thing I can say for sure is a lot of these commentary channels and just general audience are pretty fucking stupid. There's a lot of people accusing Pokimane and Ethan of getting uh, Leafy's channel taken down. Ethan because he had a recent animation in one of Leafy's videos where Ethan's wife kills herself by jumping off a cliff or something. Which, again, falls into that category of the threats thing that YouTube doesn't like that they got Gokunaru for. But I can tell you right now, Pokimane and Ethan had absolutely no fucking hand in that whatsoever. Now, I'm not their lawyer or anything, I'm not going to be like their Saul Goodman or anything, but I can say with a high level of certainty that there is not a single YouTube creator, not T-Series, not PewDiePie, that can go to YouTube and tell them how to enforce rules on their platform. They don't take any of that seriously. There is nobody that can go to YouTube and say, I want action taken against this and that and YouTube would listen. That just doesn't happen. And I can say that with confidence because with our company, Human Media Group, we actually have a direct line to YouTube now. And you know, like my boy George, I've been curious, I've been inquisitive, I've been asking like some actual shit that I've wanted to know for a long time to unravel the mystery of YouTube. And one thing I've learned is they don't give a fuck what a creator says to them. They want to stay as hands off of things on their platform as possible. So if Ethan or Pokimane really did have a problem with all of Leafy's content, they would have to go through proper legal channels through a lawyer to have any action taken on YouTube's part where it'd have to be an official 
document, lawyer, from court, everything that tells them it has to be taken down or the channel has to go online. YouTube would not do that on their own because of a legal nightmare. And I totally believe that because YouTube's a pretty soulless corporation. They're not going to really give a fuck who's coming at them asking them to take down or, you know, be the hall monitor for YouTube drama. They don't give a fuck about that. They want to stay everything as hands-off as possible and as automated as possible. So I'm pretty confident when I say no YouTube content creator has ever had a role to play in a channel being taken down like Leafy's here, unless it was through proper legal means and like a lawsuit, which I don't think happened overnight. You might as well just start accusing the boogeyman of being the one that took down Leafy or Slenderman or something. It'd make about as much sense as saying Ethan or Pokimane had that power. Now, just to kind of circle back on why I think content creators are dumb to celebrate Leafy's termination, well, it's because, yeah, while Leafy's was a pretty extreme case where there was so many videos targeting one person, the fact that YouTube took action this quickly without warning is a scary thing to see going forward because maybe the definition of harassment starts to get a little more vague and a little more blurred and you don't really know what starts to classify as harassment or targeted threats or bullying or whatever and that's when it becomes very muddy there needs to be very clear rules and clear action taken with transparency so that way you can avoid something like leafy's ban being possibly the gateway to banning a whole lot of other shit that's a lot more innocent and not as on the nose as you know, fucking more than 10 videos on something, you know what I mean? Now, do I think his channel needed to be taken down? No, I don't think so. I never support censorship in any of its forms. I think you guys know that about me. I think that's just a super fucking slippery slope. Once you start censoring things, it's stupid to think that it's only going to be used against things you don't like. Everything can be subject to the same treatment, even the innocent shit. It's just a very bad thing going forward. So I don't think his channel needed to be taken down. I'm not a big fan of Leafy's content either. I'm not looking for a fucking financial advice or to see the same drama stretched out over two months. So I'm not a huge fan of his content, but I don't like to see a channel banned like that. Now, I do understand YouTube has a rule on harassment, and you can argue he broke that rule. So that should have been a strike. But I don't think it should have been a strike for each instance of the potential rule break. It should have been one strike for that entire thing and maybe give him a warning like, look, this is harassment. Don't do it again going forward, you know? You know, hit the, hit the brakes a little bit, but that didn't happen. You see, you could extend this harassment here to pretty much every late night TV host. A reoccurring thing, a reoccurring theme in late night hosts is insulting Donald Trump. Couldn't you make that same argument that they target Donald Trump just the same way Leafy did for Pokimane? And they've done a lot more than just 12 segments shitting on him. That could realistically apply to the harassment rule, right? But you wouldn't want to see the late night shit taken down for that reason. You might want to see it taken down because the hosts are really fucking boring these days and the content of the late night shows is terrible, but you wouldn't want to see it taken down because they make a bunch of jokes about somebody. That's just a dangerous thing. That's a very dangerous thing. I just don't understand how content creators of all people can't see why that's dangerous for them as a fucking content creator because it's so vague you don't know how it's going to be enforced going forward. You don't know where it's going to lead. And I just think it's very silly to celebrate something like that, even if you fucking hate Leafy. So yeah, really, that's just about it. Just wanted to answer all these questions because I've already been getting a ton of them and I figured might as well just talk about it as soon as possible before I just get flooded by more questions to talk about it. So that's about it. So yeah.